Welcome to Overlooked, an exciting new series connecting the sighted with the blind through inclusive, unique, and empowering stories. My name is Todd Tolson. I look forward to taking into the lives of individuals and businesses making a difference through inclusion. We aim to communicate, educate, and connect. Link tree forward slash blind muse. On the screen, multiple images in a film strip over and under the text Overlooked. Dr. Hobie Wedler, chemist, entrepreneur in top left. Aaron Wilman of White Cane Coffee in top right. Bottom left. Dr. Joel Snyder, author the visual made verbal, bottom right Jane Corona Quality Insurance Specialist, the Library of Congress, now retired. Today we're in Warren County, Pennsylvania, population 38,587. We were invited for a cup of coffee and an opportunity to meet founder and CEO of White Cane Coffee, Aaron Wilman. Aaron went blind at the age of 15 and refused to be overlooked. This is her story. You know, I, I want to get to White Cane Coffee. Can you tell me what inspired you to start your own business? Aaron Wilman, founder and CEO of White Cane Coffee. A female in her mid-twenties, blonde hair in a ponytail, with dark glasses, sits in an oversized chair, her white cane rests next to a display of various K-cup boxes of coffee and the wall. White cane coffee came from me having a very bad day because after learning how to get around, after learning the braille, after doing everything you're supposed to do to be able to be a part of the world again, it's just like, all right, time to get a job, be a part of the world again. And so, but every time I would go to a job interview, all they would ever see is my cane. And, and that was frustrating. I was so much more than just my disability. And so me and my dad, we sat down and just tried to distract ourselves from the frustration of it. And so we're just, we started to play a game like if you had so much money what would you do and we sort of landed on this coffee shop idea where there all of our products would have braille on it and we would hire disabled people because if i'm not getting hired they're not getting hired <laughs> and so and we talked about this for weeks until we realized we're actually doing this aren't we and so eventually white cane just sort of became a thing to the point where we were originally just going to be mailing it out of our house. So eventually we got a building, which we are in currently, and we have been in selling coffee nationwide ever since. White Cane Coffee's original storefront and the new location. Can you tell me who was your first customer and who was your first employee? I don't know who our first customer was. It, it had to be someone in the community because we Warren has taken to us very well. It's why one of our most popular ones is the Dragon Roast is because Warren's mascot is actually the Warren Dragons. And so we sort of made that as sort of a thank you to the community. On the screen, a three image photo collage. Image one, Aaron and the president of Warren County Chamber of Commerce holding two awards for Aaron. Image two, Aaron holding up an article in the newspaper Her Times. Titled, Autistic Siblings Create Family Business. Image three, racks of various kinds of coffee packaged with braille labels. But my first employee was actually my older brother because I had to watch him go to job interview after job interview after job interview. A man operates a machine that dispenses coffee into a K-cup he is holding. Todd places a microphone on Ben and offers encouragement before filming. Being told, you're autistic, we don't hire people like you. And that made me livid. Mm -hmm. And so he was my very first employee because I was not going to let anyone treat my brother like that. My employees are all incredibly good at what they do. A woman places braille label stickers on K-cups. 
a man pours coffee into a grinder. Ben gestures, well, with his hands, as he offers an infectious smile. They do, because basically all of their lives they've been seen as a disability and so when they finally get to come someplace and be and we tell them straight up you are a person with worth you are a person who are capable of doing something two white cane coffee workers at a k-cup producing station a female worker smiles and holds up the peace sign at her workstation, labeling K-cups in Braille. They light up, and it's incredible. You can hear it in their voice, that they finally feel like they get to be something more than what they've always been told. As disabled people, we know what we can't do. It's so nice to finally be able to and able to get to show off what we can do. An image embedded on the screen next to Aaron, Global Business Leaders magazine cover. Aaron Wilman's CEO on the cover. Text reads, White Cane Coffee, Changing the World with Coffee and Love. This has been a Blind Muse Foundation production. A register 501c3 nonprofit. Your generous donations make it possible for us to continue sharing, empowering stories of inclusion at work. You can find us at linktree forward slash blind muse. Thank you.